Hi YouTubers. I decided to get a bunch of new boots this Christmas. You can see it's Christmas by the tree I have behind me. Uh, before I go over the new ones, I'm just going to talk about my old ones for a bit. These are the two old ones. Now they've started to wear out. You can see on the back of the heel, I tend to wear out my heels a lot. It'll probably show up. I always wear the outers, probably more than the average person does. This one's not so bad, but I think the color is a little out of date. So I'm going, so I bought, I'll show you these later. But uh, enough people talk about Blundstones. I'll try to bring up some stuff that I haven't heard about that might be interesting. First of all, about the fit. Some people talk about using a stretcher. My experience is if you have a size and you think you need a stretcher, your boots are too tight. You should go up a half size or one size. Uh, these are 8.5. I fit a 9.5 US or Canadian, which is where I am. Uh, the first pair I got was a 7.5 and they're very snug. And I tried stretching them. I took them to get professionally stretched and they just never worked for me. So I wound up giving them away and I got these and these worked out really well. Now I've had these for five years which is to me is a pretty good lifespan. But I decided to replace because you can see here, the sole starting to separate. It hasn't separated yet, but any glue on sole will start to separate there. And as already mentioned, the heel is very worn. The inside, the heel counter as well, I don't know if you can see that there. They start to crack because they're not lined. So these I'm going to keep around just for washing the car or, you know, doing dirty chores. These I'm giving to a friend. These heels aren't as worn, so she can still wear them. Now the insoles that come with these, this is what they look like. And I'll show you the different ones on the new ones that I bought. So originally I wanted to go with a uh, like something other than a Blundstone. And uh, I found a video from Leah and Levi, which was very helpful. He mentioned a Canada West, which I never heard of. And I found these on Facebook Marketplace for a really good price. And uh, they're pretty heavy. They work up to about three pounds. I, did, I weighed them on a scale. Blundstones are about two pounds. Uh, they have a thin slit lining. This is the winter model. Vibram sole. And these should last a lot longer than these. I think these should probably last me a good 10 years, if not a lifetime. And I think the color is really nice. Goodyear welt. Uh, what else can I say about these? The sole is really hard. Uh, they're definitely not as comfortable as these new ones that I'll talk about shortly. Uh, but being a Goodyear welt, I think they take a lot more time to break in. And I think my foot will, they'll soften up with the insole, with the midsole there, the what I assume is a cork midsole, and they'll form to the shape of my feet. But this is a good alternative to Blundstone, if you can find it. There's only one store in Toronto that carries these. I think it's Gravity Pulp. And uh, let me put these aside. So, like I said, I was originally looking for Blundstone alternatives, but they just aren't out there. I bought a pair of Redbacks, and what I didn't like was they were comfortable. They're a little chunky, but see how these have the, the lining? I don't know if you can see that. But any of the unlined boots, boots which uh, Redback is one, the elastic's exposed instead of being covered with this lining. And uh, I found I wore them around once and the elastic was so thick on the front and the back that it was digging into my heel and dig and just flopping around inside there. And I, I knew it would drive me crazy, so I just returned them. And Canada West also has an unlined summer boot, but it was the same thing. It was an exposed elastic. So basically, I couldn't really find a Blundstone alternative, so I wound up getting this one which is the new for 2022 with the Vibram sole. And 
unlike other Vibrams, I think these these look like they're not replaceable. These look like it's a collab between Blundstone and Vibram. And these are glue on. But uh, one difference between this sole, this is like rock hard. But these, you can actually, they actually have give to them. They're very soft. I haven't worn them outside yet, but I've worn them around uh, my condo building. Oh, excuse me, my condo building, and they're really comfortable. Um, this is what the insoles look like for this year. I don't know if it's an auto difference as opposed to the old one. They're the same. Like, there's not a ton of padding. But, uh... <clears throat> I've bought, uh... Uh insoles for my plantar fasciitis which really help but uh i don't think i'll need them for this one for a while i think also with the old shoes or the old boots the heels get pretty hard so uh i don't know if that like the rubber starts to compress but this is way more comfortable than the old one and about the colors too these are actually the same color so this these are rustic brown which is the uh it's like a new buck feel as opposed to this one, which is the, just a basic black, which is the smoother one. I don't know if one's more durable than the other. I found these were always more comfortable than these, uh, but this is what they look like. This is what it started out like, and this is what it looks like after years of wear, and also I use oil and wax, and uh, you notice that they start to crack with this or the top here, but that's my own fault because I use them the on my when I bike and I hit the pedal like just to bring the, the pedals up and that's my own fault. And they had sharp pins and they were digging into the thing, which I didn't notice until it was too late that I carved up all my boots on the right side. But anyways, I'm looking forward to using these. And uh, if I can find another, I'll keep looking for maybe Blundstone alternatives, but I don't think I'll need them for a long time. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know or any comments, just post below. Thanks.